Okay guys, it's me Emath. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use the logic gates within an online simulator and the simulator which we are using is the Vokvi online simulator. So you need to write Vokvi in the Google and here we got our Vokvi.com. Click on it and it will lead us to this page. And here we have a lot of projects open. We can do any sort of circuit simulation here. So we need to click on Arduino Uno 1. So here click on Arduino, delete it out. And now we got our circuit uh, window and programming window also. But we need to move our programming window aside. Now we will go and uh, we will take our logic gates because we want to simulate these logic gates so so this is our logic gate and uh, what about the other one these are and or and or gate and xor gate so now we will simulate all of these gates now what we need to do is to go and take our led now one anode pin of the led must be connected with the output of gate logic gate and uh, click on this led press ctrl c and ctrl v and it will lead us to one more led or it, it can make a copy for us so we will connect it like this so this is our second one now we again, again we will go for control c and control v so we will get our third one the third led like this and for fourth one we need one led as well so this is and Positive, okay. Now these are our four of our gates. Now I will go for my last one that is NAND. NAND gate. And this is our NAND gate. So we also need to take one LED and put it on the output of this NAND gate. Now we will take our ground pin because obviously the other pin of the led must be connected with the ground it is it is necessary for the proper functioning so we will press click on the ground press ctrl c ctrl v and it will give us the copy of the ground so like this and this and like this and one more ground and okay now our output part is completed because if the led or if the output on the logic gate is high the led will become on okay and now we will go for these things that is okay I will use here dip switch okay I will use your dip switch so okay now or without using dip switch we can simulate it out yes we can uh, we can directly connect vcc and ground on the okay for demonstration i will just write vcc and vcc here oh sorry vcc and vcc here control c and control v and it will give us two vccs this is vcc this is this and
now you can see that this is my XOR gate and now its output is zero why is so because on both uh, the input it is one it is logic one on both the input so it will be uh, zero on the output and if there and if we use to take uh, uh, one zero and one one then what will happen now one zero and one one it will become high that when both are zero zero or one one that both if both the inputs are zero zero or one one the output will become zero because it is our XOR gate so now you can see it is like this okay and if both will become ground or both will become if, if both of them will become ground or ground then then this is like this so like this so again we can see that it is not uh, it, it is giving us zero on the output LED is not light light up now uh, the same I will do it uh, I will do for my my end gate and uh, for end gate uh, we, we have one one on both the inputs so our output will be one okay so we will go and we will search for VCC any other combination will give us zero except VCC and VCC oh, sorry so click on VCC control C control V okay so this is our VCC now our output is high because in end gate it is always one one is zero one one on the input will cause zero uh, will cause one on the output and if it any of them will become zero or both zero the output will be zero like this so uh, i will write like control c control v and we will copy our ground and we will connect it like that and it will it is we can see that the output is zero so what about of not gate not gate is like that if it is vcc on the input then output will be low okay yes because it is one on the input the output will be low and led is not going to light up okay and if we will use ground like this ground control c control v and like this and now our led is on because if it is it is zero on the input the output will become one and led will become on on five volt or one logic one now what about our gate in our gate if any of the one if any of the input is one the output will be one and if both of the inputs are one still the output is one and if both are zero output will become zero again how we can do that so we will take two vcc means a two one okay and vcc oh sorry click on vcc press ctrl c and ctrl v and like this and now we can see that our logic is one because there is one one on both inputs of the or gate now what about this nine gate we will go and we will if it is uh, VCC and ground, if it is VCC and ground, there are four combinations of it. If there is VCC and ground, then it will be one because it is the opposite of end gate. It is NAND gate, so it will be the opposite of NAND gate. So now you can see that if it is one and zero, the end will become zero, and this little bubble will invert the zero output to one. Okay, so LED will light up. And now we will go for VCC and VCC. Then the output uh, will become one on both uh, the ends, on both ends, and it is one and one. So uh, this NAND gate will create a zero because end used to make one, and then this simple bubble or not gate will cause it to, will cause this one to become zero. Okay, and LED will not going to light up so you can see that we can make any sort of combination like one vcc and one ground 
ground simply means uh, 0 is logic and VCC means logic 1. So now this is our okay this is our demonstration on logic gates in Vokfi. So hopefully you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.